Yeah, obviously what jumps off the statute is how well you guys shot it, but how do you guys feel you did in terms of playing a complete game start to finish? Yeah, there were certainly stretches that felt like we need to be better at the end of the first half, like that last seven minutes. I think it was 13-8 in their favor. Uh, our ball pressure and, and intensity on defense wasn't where it needed to be. Felt like there was times on the glass that we were behind plays and didn't secure rebounds that we expect uh, to secure. And I think there's you know stretches in the second half were really good, and then there was times we lost our focus. And uh, it's important to me uh, that our guys understand and that every single day we come with a certain uh, work ethic, a certain level of focus, uh, and standards that we uphold. And regardless of the score or who we're playing, uh, it's important that we do that every single night out. So. We're going to get back to practice and focus on that and really try to um, keep building and keep growing as a group. Are there, are there any particular areas that you feel you need to improve before January 6th, 8th, whatever it is when you go to Oklahoma? Yeah, I think it's, it's more than one specific thing. It, it's really, you know, like not having lapses. It's not letting one play that doesn't go our way turn into a second play. Not having a turnover or a tough shot or a missed free throw lead to the other team being the aggressor. So I think more than one specific area, because I'd love it if we rebounded better than what we are. Um, I'd love it if we defensively, um, our ball pressure was, was better more consistently. But I'd say instead of one isolated thing here or there, it's a mental focus to get to what's next, regardless of what happens to us in the game. And sometimes we allow the last play to affect the next play, and we've got to correct that right away. Coach, I know we've kind of talked about him a ton this season, but what's it like to see Taman put five three-pointers in on a 5-7 mark today? I know it's that was the improvement in the offseason, but he's continued to pr prove it in different ways time in and time out. Yeah, it's great because he works so hard. He earned that confidence. And uh, I think there was a narrative at the end of last season of, what his ability to shoot the basketball was. And I think it's it's awesome that he keeps working the way he does and it's showing up for him because he puts a time in. Uh, for Taman, it's important. He's an extremely intelligent basketball player. Uh, and it's important that he makes the right play at the right time. And when he's got his feet set from three, uh, he's shooting it as well as anybody on our team. So he needs to continue to hunt those opportunities, uh, but really proud of, of him and for the work he continues to do to earn that confidence. Double double for Trey. Um, I know you demanded of him, challenged him to be a great rebounder this year. How is it to show up and get you know, ten boards today on a day when maybe team wide you didn't rebound as well as you'd like? Yeah, I was I was really pleased with Trey. You know he's you know he's had some things um, you know in terms of sickness or his back, uh, things that have been acting up, and proud of him for mentally uh, committing and focusing on. Uh, something that's so important. I've challenged him for that double double for a few weeks and had his first one here today. And, you know, really pleased with that. Now we're going to continue to challenge him to have more of them because we know what he's capable of. And it's important he continues to elevate himself, which will then elevate our team. What does it really mean to have the game plan executed through the whole roster? You saw guys like Jackson and Curtis really emphasize pushing the ball into the paint, but then also hitting shots from outside. And then Demarion getting that steal towards the end when he saw minutes. Yeah, it, it's important that, you know, guys that come in off the bench, that there's an accountability that when they come in, they're going to produce immediately. And that doesn't necessarily need to be need to be points, but with how we play, it's you need to produce rebounds, you need to produce ball pressure, uh, you need to get us into the paint offensively and share the basketball with your teammates. Um, we've seen Jackson continue to be a spark off the bench. It was great to see him do that again today. Uh, Kurt Jones is continuing to climb uh, and find that rhythm, and I know you know he'll he'll continue to to play better because he's he shows it every single day. Um, Demarion needs to come in and be a defensive stopper. It's something that he can certainly be for us. So we expect him to pressure the ball, to generate steals, to get rebounds, um, and and across the board, everybody that we put in, uh, there's an accountability piece to to what they need to do. So we'll continue to practice. Uh, very competitively so that everybody's prepared when their number is called. Thanks, everyone.